Welcome back everyone. This is in our midweek Wednesday beer re re review. That's a mouthful. I will come up with something catchier. I probably won't. So this is number two of the beer beer reviews. I don't remember when I reviewed this beer. Not saying it's a bad beer. I don't often pick it up. It's available in the local uh, supermarket. I pick up a lot of my beers in the supermarket. I, I can't afford the beers. Yeah. So this mm. is from Blacks of Kinsale. It is their Kinsale Pale Ale 5%, 500 ml, 3 euros. Let's get beer in a glass. I've been talking long enough. So, oh, that's, that's from Ivory. So, um, I can't remember what I gave him this before. I can't really remember it. But then again, I'm sorry. I'm using my new tripod and it's higher up and I haven't got used to the angles. I should be farther back. I should have probably second table. That's an idea. So, glass is obviously not clean because there's little bubbles. Let's knock some off. So we got a dark caramel, caramel straw kind of taste. We're get, I'm getting loads of caramel. I'm getting loads of malt. Yeah, um, grapefruit. Kind of malt, malt forward maybe. Sweetness. Yeah, let's dive in. Yeah, um, grapefruit, really malt, um, maybe slightly tin on the back end, but you kind of get a bit of bitterness and you're getting a bit of sweetness. So it's not too bad. Um, this is um, quite cold. Um, I only picked it up this afternoon. It was out in the car, so it's... It's probably five degrees and so it's 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 cold it was it was on the shelf in the they don't put any of the craft beer in the fridge fridges in that supermarket we'll put a few of them one or two of the beers but the rest are just in the a shelf on their own and they're meant to be the craft beer range there's a bit i i, I went on about this before because they, they done up that about two years ago and spent a load of money and, and they didn't put next to the fridge wouldn't have cost them a whole lot I don't know, two grand for the fridge. They probably spent 50 on it. I, I, I'm assuming, I don't know what these things cost, but it took them a long time to do up the, that off license off section. You, you, yeah, this might be out the beer. So, again, it's it's really nice, really drinkable. I'm not getting 5%. Um, I don't often go to... The red ale is really nice too. The beers are not... It's not wowing me. Um, it's a pale ale. Sometimes, if the red the red is not available there, if the red was there, I'd probably go for the red. Pick it up that once in a while. Haven't picked up one of these for a good while. Now, someone will probably no, no one's going to watch this video. Someone go. Well, we did a review like three months ago. I probably didn't. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying not to make this too long. Uh, I'll try to keep it in five minutes. Let's see if anyone actually watches it. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Um, it's won won a World Beer Award. So, but it doesn't mention oh nineteen. So that's three years ago. It's twenty two. Now, I'm a bit skeptical about these because you have to put your own beer forward and you you pay. I think I'm not sure. I think that's how it works. You send the beers, you pay so much to enter, and then now yeah, the one of gold in the pale ale. So I'm not sure were they the only one to win a gold? Or the gold standard? Did they reach a certain amount of points? Yeah, I'd like to know how that world world beer awards works. Because is it gold standard? And not they're the only be that they were the only Rory to get a pale. Right, if we're going to give this a review again, um, I'm going to go with 3.25. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit harsher than other reviewers with um, regards um, giving out... Um, oh, five minutes. 
See you next time. This has been a re-review Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Uh, links should be below. If you like, give a like, dislike, uh, comment, report. All really appreciate. I'll see you next time. Shanta.